Okay, BricsCAD is not simply a copycat of AutoCAD. It is a very powerful and capable CAD platform on its own. Plus, it's constantly being innovated to go above what AutoCAD offers standard. One example of these tools is the Quad Cursor, or otherwise simply referred to as the Quad. It's a context-sensitive toolbar that appears at your cursor when highlighting objects. When you hover over an object, the Quad menu appears. Besides simply displaying command options, the Quad learns from your behavior. So depending on what type of entity you are highlighting, you will be presented with the appropriate tools. Here's an example of quickly offsetting a line using a command from the Quad menu. It's important to note that if you don't want to use the Quad, you can turn it off in the status bar on the lower right of the screen. However, once you try using it, you will quickly see the power and the convenience of it. Besides just showing you a few basic tools, you can see an extended list of tools organized in panels. This gives you the ability to work in a clean screen mode. This view temporarily turns off the ribbon and other menus so you can have a larger work area. Another tool is the Dynamic 2D UCS. The normal practice has always been to simply draw an object and reorient it or reposition it as needed. For example, instead of drawing a rectangle orthogonally, the 2D Dynamic UCS allows you to draw the object aligned to another entity. As shown here, you can align and lock the UCS with another polyline to begin drawing in that orientation parallel to that line work. After drawing a new object with the Dynamic UCS, you can select the reference line and the new object. You'll be presented with a vector showing the distance between these two objects. The power of this is demonstrated when you change the dynamic dimension to invoke a move command to reposition the new object to the corrected distance. While BricsCAD uses all the basic 2D drafting commands like move, rotate, copy, mirror, and so on, the manipulator encompasses all of these options in one single tool. To activate the manipulator, all you have to do is simply use a long left click on an object. So just hit the left mouse button and hold it a little longer than you normally would. And once it's appeared, you can make transformations along the axes. You can also control arcs to rotate the object either with a specific degree increment or predefined increments. The manipulator also can be used to mirror objects. You can even pick multiple entities to make transformations, such as copy or even mirror again. BricsCAD includes AI powered tools called Move Guided and Copy Guided. These tools allow you to move and copy entities along guide curves quickly and easily. For example, Using Copy Guided, select a door in a drawing to copy it further down a wall. Once the door is selected, Copy Guided detects the line work that the door is adjacent to and uses those as guide curves. So when you copy the door to a new location, BricsCAD looks for similar line work and it automatically aligns the entity to it regardless of orientation, horizontally or vertically. Once the object is copied, BricsCAD creates an opening and cleans up the line work and hatch for you automatically. Move Guided works the same way. With that command, you can grab the door and simply reposition it to another location. Notice how the Move Guided tool creates a new opening for the door and heals the lines in the hatch from the original location. Sometimes you need to move an object to another place with different guide curves. In this case, Move Guided will let you select your own guide curve to position the entity. For example, to move an object to a wall with a different type, simply select the guide reference that you want to use, such as a single line for a wall face with a different width. 
Another benefit of using Move Guided is in the case of needing to remove an object and auto heal the lines in the original location. As an example, say you need to remove a window from a conference room. If you simply selected and deleted the object, you would have to heal all of the lines and hatches on the wall. Move Guided lets you move the window out of the wall and automatically repairs and heals the lines in the wall. From there, simply select and delete the window if you wish. Imagine using Move Guided to relocate a door, and the new location of this door presents a problem with something in the way. In our example, the new door location is blocked by a chair in the drawing. Sure, you can select that and move it manually, but in this case, Move Guided allows you to move them in relation to a reference curve that you select. To keep everything uniform. For example, the circular table is selected as the reference and the chosen chairs can be rotated around the axis to the preferred spot. What if you run into a case where an edit was made a while ago and you want to revert the object back to its original state? This can be problematic, especially if many other things have happened since then. Simply undoing the work is not a good option. In this situation, simply select the object and open the Properties panel on the right side of the screen. Locate the History property and select the drop-down to choose the preferred step. This is much faster than doing it manually and allows you to change the state on that single entity without disturbing anything else. Just like AutoCAD, BricsCAD uses the concept of block definitions and block references. In our example, the desk chair is identified as a block. Using the quad cursor, you can open the Edit Block dialog and make any changes and save them to the block definition. But in the example drawing, there are several chairs not saved as blocks. Rather, they are made up of polylines. As you can see, there are many of these located throughout the drawing. Perhaps they were blocks that were exploded or someone simply copied the line work throughout the drawing. Regardless, these should all be blocks. Traditionally, you could manually replace the block references that you made yourself to make things cleaner and, and more efficient in the drawing. However, that can be long, tedious work. BricsCAD has a way to automate this process called Blockify. Simply select the line work that you want to convert. From the ribbon, launch Blockify. Change the parameters as you wish or simply keep the defaults. And in just a second, it created a block of that geometry and replaced the object with that block. Plus, Blockify also scanned the entire drawing and found all matching instances of that object and replaced them with new block references as well. Using the quad, you can choose Select Similar, and BricsCAD will find all insertions of that block that it replaced. Ultimately, BricsCAD did a lot of work in just a few seconds. So there you go, the advanced AI and machine learning tools right inside BricsCAD. I hope you found it insightful. Do us a favor and leave a comment regarding the, the one that you felt was, was really the coolest and the most impactful for what you do. And if you want to try out BricsCAD, you can download a free 30-day trial on our website, tavco.net, and check out the other BricsCAD videos there as well. My name is Kevin, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.